Hang on, I have like a couple things that I want to say before we even start. Like not recorded. Yeah, no, 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 no. Recorded, but just like to get us into the okay. whole. Okay. Because then we'll go. Yeah. No. Let's talk about other things as well. In addition. Yeah. To the main task. Okay. So hang on, because I I definitely put stuff in here. Hang on, we can cut all this. Let me find it. I want to put everyone on to something. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Why don't you start then? Okay. Oh, I'm wait, let's intro. Okay, you do it. I suck at it. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, Brooke. Hi, Connor. Are you ready to MAP? I'm ready to pee. Ignorance is bliss. I'm living in a world of my own, and it's awesome. Oh, I thought I was responsible for 9-11 when I was five. Where were you? In Pennsylvania. Touch grass, might I suggest. We're just going to dive right in today. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Brooke and Connor Make a Podcast. And guess what we're doing today? You'd be shocked to, to find out. Many, many of you will be shocked to find out that we're... We're making a podcast making today. A podcast. Speaking of us making a podcast, somebody came up to me in um, Urban Outfitters today and said that they liked our podcast. And I oh. am so, 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 so awful at those interactions um, that I've learned. Like, you're supposed to like say, oh, thank you so much. What's your name to try to yeah. start something? So I was like, thank you so much. What's your name? And then they said their name. And I was like, well, thank you so much, Ernie. It was Daniel. <laughs> so you got your eyes done. I got I got my teeth T's crossed and my dye's dotted. Your dye's dotted. I mean, my T's dotted and my eyes crossed. <laughs> my favorite thing there's in the world is when someone simply messes up, mixes a, mixes a letter up. Yeah. Switches two words. What? In Remember that song? Yeah, my pussy speaks English, Spanish, and French. No, actually. It was like a big TikTok song. Mm -mm. <sighs> I, we can't play it on here, can we? I believe you that it exists. We'll it it goes, honest. yeah, my pussy dog. <laughs> it's 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 by the city girls. Okay, Brooke, you need to be on this because it's it. The girls are hitting mm -hmm. the the girls are outside this summer. The girls, are, this summer is for the for the street. The girls are on the streets. This or something. Whatever they're saying. Are the girls on the streets this summer? What are you saying? Maybe that's wrong. Maybe <sighs> the city girls are up. That's what they say. Okay, I believe it. it means like it's gonna be like a fun summer. To be. I believe it. Spoonerism. I could put everyone on to something. Oh, okay. Uh -oh. So the the word. Okay. So basically, the story that I'm telling you is there's a song by the by the by the city girls. I almost called them the cigarette girls. The city girls. Um, it's called Pussy Talk, because the pussy talks uh -huh. English, Spanish, and French. Okay. Yeah, my pussy talk. We'll listen to it in the bonus. Okay. So cool. you can like hear. It's so basically yeah, saying. Yeah. It's basically saying. Um. My pussy's talented. It does cartwheels. Like, oh, I know that the pussy does cartwheels. I yeah, so sorry for the the fourteen year old that DM just had to listen to the past two and a half minutes of that. But basically, I was trying to explain that song to somebody, and I said, "Yeah, my pussy talks English, Frannish, and Spinch." <laughs> so now we have this joke where, like, just randomly, our friends would go, "Yeah, my pussy talks Spinch." Oh, that's good. International. Yeah, a little inside joke. Spinch. Awesome. Spinch. Spinch vibes. Well, you were I was going to put everyone on to something. It's just my new favorite show. That's not yet released to the public. Actually, when does this episode come out? It'll be out. It, this show, will, show be out. will be out. Today's June 6th. Okay, I leave for Europe tomorrow. Yeah. And then... So this is coming... We're we're recording a week before. So this podcast mm -hmm. is coming out... I'm heading while out Brooke is While Brooke is overseas. Yeah. Serving. Serving <laughs> while Brooke is serving cunt overseas. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Her pussy talk spinch. She had to take it abroad. I had to. Um finally I get a laugh out of everyone today. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm fighting for my life over you here. You always get laughs. Um so this podcast is being recorded a week in advance, mm -hmm. and that's why Brooke needs to put you on to the show. Because it will have They'll probably already out. be on it, though. But then they'll annoying. they'll have two episodes to watch. But as long as you know that I was on it before it came out, that's fine. Um, but it, this show is coming on June 8th on Peacock, and it's, call, it's called Based on a True Story, and I went to the premiere last week, um, and it stars, it's Kelly Cuoco, is that how you say her name? And Chris Messina, who is Danny in the Mindy Project, who I just love, 
And this show is so good. They showed us two episodes. I'm really excited because I haven't heard you talk about a show like this. No, because it's not my typical kind of show. Because it's not like... Why? Because I usually only like very strictly like comedy or very strictly like spooky. And this is actually a little bit of both. The premise of the show... Barry, by the way. Oh, was that both? Yeah. I couldn't get into Barry really, but I only watched one episode. It's good. Um, we'll circle back on that. But the premise of this show is that um, these two are married and their marriage is like a little bit on the rocks and the wife is obsessed with murder podcasts and then somehow they actually involve themselves in a murder and then yeah. instead of like turning the guy in, they decide to make a podcast with him. So is this literally only murders in the building? That's what I was going to ask. Um, No. And I'll tell you why. Because this one has Christmas Cena in it. Well, this seemed like they were in a building. No. And then there's a murder. It was their house. And then they start a podcast. They're not, they weren't directly, I think the murders may be a little bit different. They don't, no, they're, and only murders in the building, I haven't seen it, but they do not have a, the murderer as a part of the podcast. Right? They're trying to figure out. I think they're trying to figure out who the murderer is. The murderer is is the, well, all of the suspects. Are at some point involved in the podcast. But I'm saying, like, there are two voices in the podcast, the husband and the murderer. Oh, they they bring the murderer in. The murderer is the co-host of the podcast. And they know he's the murderer? Yes. And instead of, t- they're not turning him in. Mm. Okay. Like, that's, that's, I, no, I'm, I'm saying it's interesting. I was just trying to figure out what the difference was yeah. between the two shows. Yeah. And Besides the I la- don't know why he hasn't been, like, a James Bond yet. Like, there's to me, there's no difference between, like, Chris Messina and, like, Who's, who plays James Bond? Well, who's Idris Elba's? Yeah, like no. he should be one of those, like Tom Cruise. Like we should see him in a Top Gun. Like he can, he can just do so much more than we're letting him do. I think that some people like to be typecast as like dad bod. No, is... he was also an heir though. Like which oh. is a very, like he's in a lot of, he, also, he doesn't have a dad Oh, he bod. was an heir. Oh, okay. He's like pretty jacked. I wouldn't know, but yeah, that's cool. That's cool. And I saw him as well. Did not say hi, but I did see him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's okay, because you have so much to do. This is actually funny. I didn't see him at the premiere, even though he was sitting behind me. Yeah. Um, Just because I'm short and he's short and it didn't work out, like, eyesight wise. How tall is he? Probably like 5'4". No, he's not five, five six. Four. Okay, five six. Can we type in Christmasina height? I, I'm now I'm so involved with Christmasina. <laughs> you uh, should be a man who I didn't know existed <laughs> until he's probably three minutes ago. He's probably oh, he's five seven. Uh, okay, but that means five six, right? <laughs> if it says that, no, that actually means six foot, depending on who you ask. He and then I was standing right. Well, anyway, I'm I'm jumping the gun, but I didn't see him at the main premiere, and I wasn't going to go to the after party, but I had to go to the after party because I didn't see him. I know how that goes. You know how that goes, and it was at the Chateau Marmont, which I've never been to, which is like a fun, like fancy place in West Hollywood. And I was with my friend Megan, and I said, Megan, can you please direct us via Google Maps to the Chateau Marmont? And we were getting like pretty far away from where I thought it was. And I was like, Megan, are you sure you're directing us to the right place? And it turns out she was actually directing us to the Chateau Marmotte, uh, the dog grooming <laughs> building. But, you know, we had kind of turned around. And good, then, good, good catch. Yes, good catch. Got into the, the Chateau Marmotte. And then I was like getting really nervous because, you know, I get a little bit nervous around celebrities, yeah. especially the ones that I yeah. admire and such. And we were practicing like, okay, this is what I'm going to say. And then I was like, Megan, no, I can't do it. I can't do it. And she's like, yes, you can. Yes, you can. And this whole time I look in front of us and I realize he is standing. Connor, if I had reached out one millimeter, I would have touched the back of his head. Like we were behind him the entire time I was having the conversation with her. And then I sprinted away and then I couldn't get back to him because he was in like a circle of conversation the whole rest of the night. Yeah. And I I missed my one chance. But do you think he heard you? Yes. I do. He might but have been so self-involved. I, in that, that could moment. be, and also like, he might have thought I was talking about someone else. Maybe, probably not. I think maybe after you, you've gone to a premiere of the show that you're the star of, mm-hmm. and you're at the after party, and it's you. <laughs> I don't know how much you hear just in general. Right. I bet it was a bit of a a blur. Right. He was like when I was like looking at him, like he was in the middle of a conversation right in front of me, not so much looking. I think you're fine. Yeah, I think so too. And also, it would matter if he I, heard I you. I kind of agree. Yeah. 
Yeah, but I never got to say hi. But he seemed, you know, when you can just tell someone's the greatest guy. Yeah. He totally has that vibe. That's so good. Mm-hmm. Anyway, you really have got to watch this show. Everyone I want to- gasped when the lights went off and the second episode was over. Gasped. You watched two of the episodes? Yeah, they showed us two. See, I just realized with you talking about how good this show is, that's the point of us being invited to those premieres. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Because the whole time I'm like, why, why am I, why do you want me here yeah. to do this? Yes. Yeah. Eureka. You I should don't know. Feel, that, that actually makes me feel good. Yeah. And like, be, and you should think like, oh, I belong here because I'm doing, I, as people listen to this pod. I know. As I'm going to watch that show. It's on Peacock, by the way. Yeah. It comes out June 8th, which is awesome because I'll be on the plane. Can you download shows from Peacock? I don't know. We'll, I figure, we'll, know. we'll find out soon enough. Um, well, I am going to... I'm, I'm looking forward to watching this on Thursday. I can't wait to hear what you think. In because two days. We never like the same thing, so I hope. I really hope you I'm like it. I'm trying really hard to like something. but uh, I don't see how you wouldn't. Downloads are available for select content for Peacock Premium yeah. Plus. I don't think I have Premium Plus, but I'd get it for this show. That's it. Well, I'm sure that there's probably a trial period. And you could download get this. Flight. I didn't reach for my phone once. Wow. That's huge. Wow. Phone level? Zero. That's the highest compliment Couldn't I could be me. Get. Couldn't be me. Yeah. No, I swear. Uh, hang on there for a second because we have to take a break because I have to t- talk about HelloFresh because I'm obsessed with HelloFresh. Um, guys, really quick. I talked about HelloFresh before, but with, with HelloFresh, you're going to get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. You can skip drips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and Affordable. That's what I was gonna say. I didn't even see. No, I'm not even. I wasn't looking at the screen. I, I was I looking know. at my lap. I know. I know. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Uh, that's why it's America's number one meal kit. Green Chef and every plate are now owned by HelloFresh, and with a wider array of meal plans to choose from, there's something for everyone. I love switching between the brands, and now our listeners can enjoy both brands at a discount with us. This summer, HelloFresh is here to take the work out of eating well. Reach your goals with delicious calorie smart and protein smart lunch and dinner options, plus new vegan recipes too. Get farm to table quality with every HelloFresh box. HelloFresh's seasonal ingredients are picked at peak ripeness and travel from the farm to your doorstep in less than seven days for fresh flavor in every bite. Okay, what I was eating the other day was the easy breezy grilling cheesy. And what it was, it was couscous and then there was cheese on top of the couscous, which would surprise it's it's gonna surprise you that that's what I had chosen to eat, but it's all in the name. It was easy. Yeah. It was breezy. It was cheesy. What's not to like about those two things? Those were all my nicknames in college. Mm-hmm. Or those were no my description been descriptives in college. Okay. We had to choose three, and those were the three I chose. Totally to go by easy breezy and cheesy. <laughs> um, it was so easy to throw together. Obviously the couscous and the cheese, and it was done in thirty minutes, and the cleanup took no time at all. And it was delicious. It was veggie. Cause I'm 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 eating. It was a veg master. A lot of vegetables right now to go with what I'm about to tell you during the podcast. Cool. Yeah. Hello Fresh Market also has new snacks, meals, and more to add on to your weekly order, like their fun s'mores bundle for the kids. Hello Fresh. Or maybe not even for the kids. I love (laughs) s'mores. (laughs) I love s'mores. Yeah. Me too, Connor. Hello Fresh is more convenient than grocery shopping, but did you know it's cheaper too? It's also 25% less expensive than takeout. Shut up. Mm-mm. No matter your lifestyle, you'll always find delicious recipes on the HelloFresh menu, like pescatarian and veggie. You can even swap proteins and sides to make a recipe just how you like it. Go to HelloFresh.com slash BNC16 and use code BANDC16 for 16 free meals plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com slash BNC16 and use code BNC16 for 16 free meals plus free shipping. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Um... I am gonna get Apple TV or Apple Plus or whatever it's whatever it's called. What's it called? Apple TV. Apple TV, Apple TV Plus. Plus? Mm-hmm. May, yeah. I am. I don't know why all the names of these things make me gutturally feel sick. We have premium Peacock HBO Plus. Mm-hmm. Now it's mad. I'm officially on my own too because my dad deleted everything that I was a part of HBO, Netflix. I have to get my own Netflix. I have such a guilt complex that. My parents are like, oh, we're good with just Netflix. I was like, oh, you have no idea what's going on. So I signed them into all of mine. So Aww. they're on my payroll. Because I felt so weird that my parents were like, like, 
they had no idea what else is out there. Yeah. Well, I'm just like my dad knows what's out there and is choosing to get rid of it. That like what? Well, they didn't. What could I you mean, possibly be watching then? You don't have my Netflix, parents, HBO. They ended up being obsessed with uh, Ted Lasso. Oh. Which I never watched. Flop. Did you? No, like the la- like I watched the first season and I was like, this feels good. Feels good on my heart. Yeah. And then the next two seasons got worse. I hear like, I don't know how to explain it. Flopped. I thought it was good. The last season. I thought it was good. Oh. Okay. Well, I'll piss everybody off here. Next, Succession. I I love Succession. Besides select episodes, that show. I is th- that's something I don't know if I'd like it unless everyone else liked it. Yeah, you wouldn't know. I will. I so wouldn't have what I was, watching. you know what I was shocked to find out because because of how much hype it got the show. I was like, oh, it must be Game of Thrones level viewership. You know, their final episode had like 2.8 or 2.3 million viewers. And Big Bang Theory final episode had 19.8 million viewers. No, I didn't know that. That was their fi- like. That makes sense, though, because there are a lot more like suburban families watching TV than there are like, well, I people just thought who that, like, want to watch Succession. Based on my timeline and like what people are talking about in my little pocket of the internet mm-hmm. i assumed it's one of the biggest shows ever no it's so crazy million, realizing yeah, okay, that like I was close. there's a lot more beyond your pocket of the internet whoa not <laughs> not me and uh not me and mr beast seeing eye to eye <laughs> i don't know i have nothing against it i'm I, i'm all for like like having people like what they like you can't push tv yeah. on me and I don't try to push TV on other people. It's so funny. Like you and I feel like most people are like, if something's really popular, then you're like hesitant to accept it. You know, yeah. you're, I'm the, like, if something's popular, I'm like, give it to me now. I need to be like that so that I can relate to people on the internet. I don't know. I if, literally don't know what I people are talking about. I don't know if either about. way is good. I think there's Well, when people be- are talking about Shiv on the internet, I'm thinking someone got stabbed. Right. The whole time. Yeah, I get that. Um, I th- you can also just like do research and know what people are talking about without watching the show. Like just know that Shiv is the you sister. Think you think I'm going to opt for research over sitting with my eyes crossed watching TV? Well, I like recently have just been reading the plots of shows on Wikipedia. Like filling in the gaps for the good doctor house. Like I I just read all the plots and then continue to watch the clips on TikTok. I, I understand where you're coming from only because I pause shows to figure out where they were filmed and where I know the I'm on IMDb the entire time I'm watching a new show. I love The Good Doctor. Um, I will say Barry, the new season of Barry is really good if anyone's watching Barry. I want to because really I love Bill Hader. Bill Hader is, has to win something. Has to win something. His acting is actually uncomfortable to watch because it's so good. Who, who would have thought? From Oklahoma. Wow. He's from Oklahoma. Bill Hader's from... Breaking news, everybody. Bill Hader is from Oklahoma. Someone else is from Oklahoma. Where's James Marsden from? That wouldn't surprise me if he was from Oklahoma. He's... Yeah. Ryan's from Oklahoma. I think James is from Oklahoma or something along those lines. Oklahoma. Wow. Yeah. Yep. Why do you know that? I've been doing some some (laughs) field work and, and whatnot on James. Pussy Talks Marsden. I told you the other day he can sing, he can act, he can dance. Oh, he's a theater kid. I told you, yeah, I said he's yeah. a theater kid, right? Yeah. At Another show. Join the club. I should recommend him that playlist that's been recommended to me. You should, and I'm sure you guys will cross paths soon, just based on track record. Oh my god, I, I'll freak. I think. Um, so, what was I gonna say? Oh, I really want to watch uh, Platonic with Seth Rogen and the way you say that word is always Platonic. Jarring. Yeah. Platonic. Platonic. Platonic is Platonic. that what you said? You always say Platonic. Oh, sorry. No, you're platonic. good. Platonic. <laughs> I just had to say it faster. Yeah, platonic. platonic. I need to see. I need to see Platonic. It's on Apple TV Plus with Seth Rogen and Rose Burns. Mm-hmm. They they're always a great duo. What else are they? Neighbors. In? Is that a movie? Yeah, Neighbors Zac one Efron. as well as two, starring Zac Efron and Dave Franco. Yeah, as well. Oh, oh my God! Went to dinner the other night with Dave Franco. Dave Franco is sitting table next to me with Allison Brie or solo. Um, I didn't even notice. I just figured out who Allison Brie is. You know what movies? I- wow. Is she an actress as well? I yes. Just, I just saw an interview with her and him and I was like, oh, she's funny. Followed her on Instagram. <laughs> oh, you know the influencer Allison Brie? 
Who is she? She's an actress. Who? What is she in? Community? A bunch of movies? No. She's, I just think I know her from movies. She's in that one with uh, Jason Sudeikis, seeing other people. Um... Guys, please what let's look at her in? IMDb and tell me which of these movies you guys really think How I would have watched. How do you not know who Allison? That one I will speak up about. That yeah, is she's pretty huge. So sorry. Although I can only think of her from uh, what? What movie did I? Ju- what just came out of my mouth? Neighbors. No, that one with Jason Sudeikis. It ju- it literally came out of my mouth four seconds sleeping ago. Sleeping with other people. Yeah, sleeping with other people. Um, that was great. How to be single. Have you seen How to Be Single? No. Um, Get Hard. I haven't seen that. No, I don't. Sleeping with other people. That's great. I was gonna say, you know, a movie is actually really good that kind of I think went under the radar, but it came out a while ago. Disaster Artist. No, that not in my world. I think everyone was talking about Disaster Artist. Oh, really? I don't remember anyone talking about it. Hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. That movie, it's like so good if you watch it again now. It's probably uh, Yeah, I would love to rewatch that, actually. Guess who's in it? You'll die. Who? Nathan Fielder. That's Guess who he sits next to in the theater? Zac Efron. Can you, did you ever think that those two would be sitting next to each other? Zac Efron? Does he have a house? He's everywhere. He's everywhere. I look. I think he lives in Australia. At this time. Down under. But I don't know. I wouldn't, you know, like most high profile celebrities have like a full time residence abroad in New York and in LA. It's probably tax reasons. I guess. Yeah, he lives in, in Australia. Byron Bay. Hmm. Shout out to Australia today. Where does he live currently? Oh, I actually did something pretty bad the other day. What? Um, I'm hesitant to even say it. Well, we can always, we can cut it. If I'm not going to say who, but I was reading an article that was like this celebrity's house is at this address. So I was like, okay, I live right by there. So I drove by it because I didn't have anything else to do. And then I was like really looking at it hard. And then I realized that there was about 15 to 105 cameras looking back at me. And that and that was it. And I th- I'm on that Can celebrities. You me who it yeah, is? I'm on that celebrities. <laughs> yeah, no, it's awful. I really think that that person probably has like a photo of me in their house. <laughs> that's like, do not let this person. It is. I'm sorry, but then I don't go- let this person in my yeah, house. <laughs> but then I googled it after. Like that is very legal. Like it's a public house. It on a public road. I was just looking at it. It's like going on house tours. I didn't even take a picture of it. I was not, just looking at it. I'm not going to citizen's arrest And you. I couldn't even see it because the hedges were so big. Littered with cameras. Well, on the, in the same vein, I was on a run yesterday. Mm-hmm. Yesterday. It's weird how we're coming into, we're paralleling today mm-hmm. with just like sightings. And I see little Dicky in his garage. And I go, that's not little Dicky. I look and he's looking back at me. And I was like, oh, that is little Dickie. And I just kept I kept jogging. You know where he's from. Philly. Mm-hmm. I do know that. Because when Benny Blanco came over to cook with Hank, we were talking about Philly and Does, Is Dave. Benny Blanco from Philly? No. Oh. He's good friends with Dave, though. Oh, good. Yeah. Hey, guys. Hey. We want to take another quick break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, Julie. If you've ever had unprotected sex, forgot your birth control had a condom break, Mm -hmm. or you're just not sure, we're excited to talk about a new company that's giving emergency contraception a much needed rebrand. Julie is an FDA approved morning after pill that helps stop pregnancy before it starts. Yep, and Julie's also aiming to be the emergency contraception company for this next generation that's coming towards us so quickly. One of learning and acceptance and not stigma and shame. When it comes to complex and stressful choices around your health, they believe women deserve products that are easy in every way, easy to find, easy to take, easy to relate to, and easy to understand. Julie stops your body from releasing an egg using the same active ingredient as Plan B or other morning after pills. Essentially, Julie works by preventing or delaying your ovulation. Mm -hmm. With no egg, there's no fertilization and therefore no pregnancy. And it's no risk to future fertility. 
It works best when taken right away or within 72 hours of unprotected sex. That's a good way to put it. Julie just launched at CVS, but you can also find Julie at Target and Walmart stores across the U.S. You can also order online to have for the future just in case. It's legal in all 50 states. You do not need an ID, a prescription, or a credit card to get it. Julie's not just a morning after pill. It's a morning after pill brand that's working to increase access to emergency contraception for women across the country. Julie has a one-for-one -one donating program, and every time you purchase Julie at a store or online, the company donates one pill to someone who needs it. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Julie partners with over 25 organizations across the country to provide donations to those disproportionately impacted by health inequities. You can go to juliecare.co to learn more or find Julie at your nearest CVS, Target, or Walmart today. That's juliecare.co to learn more. Um, okay, well, we have so much to talk about today. Wait, I still, I want to talk about my trip a little. Oh, talk about your trip. Well, I just will tell you where I'm going. and you'll be Yeah, you'll be on it when, yeah. when we... I'm so excited. When this airs. Yeah, you should be. Because um, I've never been to either of these places. I'm going to London. Have you been? London, To yeah. London? I haven't been to London. But the whole reason for this trip originally was me and my friend Caden love this book that's really long What's and depressing. It's called A Little Life, and it's a play on the West End yeah. in London. So we were like, okay, let's go to London and see the play. And then both of us are like not like big planners. So we kind of were just sitting on that. Like, yeah, we're going to go. We're going to go for a long time. And then without ever doing anything. And then our other friend Alexa was like, no, I want to go and I want to make it a big trip. So then she actually got us to book it. Nice. So we ended up booking London, um, Geneva, Switzerland, and then Portugal, Lisbon, and Lagos too. Um, and then... But can I ask why Lagos? Because it's the beach. Like a very beachy town. Isn't... I don't know. Are you thinking of the African country? Yeah. No. So we're actually... It's We're not going there. We're going to the one in Portugal. There's two la Lagai? The, the Laga, one Lagos is a city in Portugal. Okay. And one You're, is that's cleared a, a it out. country Thank you. in Africa. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so that okay. one. No. Gorgeous. No. Hey, enough said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Um, so then we booked all that, and then we went to get the tickets to the play sold out. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm sure you could find them there like you find yeah, tickets here. We did stuff. end up getting them, but oh, yeah. it, it was like a month and a half of like, oops. Um, so yeah, that's exciting. And that's four and a half hours long. So we're doing like a tour of a vineyard and then immediately going to that. You're going to be, <laughs> oh, so you're saying you're going to take a four hour nap. Yeah, I, I fear because it's like very like slow. Yeah. So that'll that's be something. Like, that's like. I didn't mean vineyard, like a, I meant pub. You're doing a pub tour? A pub crawl tour. <laughs> you're bar hopping. I don't and know. And you're going well, to a play. We're going with Patrick. What we'll also you, be in London. What are you with on him. the show, I Euphoria? Don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We're going yeah, with we're, Patrick's family, so I don't think it'll be like crazy. Yeah, we're going on an but, opium tour, and then mm -hmm. we're going to watch, we're gonna watch a Marvel yeah. movie. Yeah. Yeah. So it'll be cool. should be interesting. Um. Yeah. And wow. I'm really excited to go to all the knitting stores. Sure. And... I think that I'll probably be able to see some cool people in London. Here are all the celebrities off the top of my head that I could see there. Mm -hmm. Tom Holland, always walking around. Yeah. Um, Harry Styles will be there because mm -hmm. he's playing at Wembley. Mm -hmm. I'll miss him by a day. The um, 1975 will probably be walking around because they're playing in Manchester when I'm there. Right. Um, Andrew Garfield will probably will be there as well, filming with just, with yeah. Florence Pugh as well. Um, did I say Tom Holland? Yeah, yeah. The did I say Harry Styles? Yeah, you got them both. Cody will be there. Cody K, Cody Co. Right. Um, who like Paul Mescal? Right. And you know, London I think is small, and they're kind of just walking around all the London's time. London's actually one of the smallest cities in the world. Really? That's what it's so known for. So I think fingers crossed that I <laughs> fingers crossed that I see one of them. Mm -hmm. I You're bet, being sarcastic. Yeah, it's huge. Okay. I had no idea. But I really think every time someone goes to London, they see they see someone fun. I, when you said cool people, I was like, yeah, they people in London are so cool. No, I'm talking specifically about people that I am fond of in the I was, I thought in I was the media. Thinking, like maybe we have in the media. London fans. If there's anybody from London oh, that wants yeah, to that, too. that wants to hang out with Brooke, hit us up. Yeah, I'll be with Tom Holland if you need me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Took Pussy Talks English. English. Yeah. Yeah. 
English. English. Can you say English in a British accent? English. English. It's pretty you much. Do you have it. a good British accent? No. I have a terrible British accent. Oh, because it goes. Okay, I, I tried so hard to get an Australian accent down, and now when I do British, I think it's like a twang. You go first. There, well, there's also tons of different kinds of British accents. Okay, just do like. I don't the, know what's what. Accent. I don't know what's what. Well, it doesn't matter. Give me a sentence to say. Um. <clears throat> What? Do we both need to clear, clear our throat. sinuses Close before? Yeah. Should we get a Mucinex sponsorship? Um, I can't believe we never heard from them, by the way, after we sucked them off <laughs> for like half an hour. I don't think we were sucking them off specifically, more so a meme centered around Professor them. Mucus. Yeah, Professor Mucus. The best branded mascot uh-huh. you can have. Okay, uh, why don't you say, I can't wait to eat dinner tonight. You go first. No, you have to go first. Um, <laughs> it's so hard. It's fine. I I can't wait to eat dinner tonight. That's great. I'm not gonna get, be even close. I can't wait to to, <laughs> that, eat, to eat dinner tonight. That's See, Australian. Like, that's Australian. It's not even. It's nothing. That's why when I try to do this that TikTok of doing uh James whatever's last name from Vanderpump Rules on my ins- on my TikTok, I had to. I had to just be like, yeah, I can't get his accent down, like, but as a joke in the video, because I literally couldn't do it, and it was ruining the whole thing. And uh-huh. I was like, I guess that'll be part of the joke. Yeah, I can't get it down. I don't know. My that, sound, that was a good Australian accent, though, if that helps. Well, it was like when I, I used to be good at British accents, and then when I tried to learn an Australian accent for a TikTok, mm-hmm. I couldn't do the Australian one because it was, sounded too British, and then I couldn't go back to the British one. Oh, I'm sorry. So now I'm just this dumb hybrid. <laughs> well... I'm sure you could learn. Maybe. Yeah. Okay, should we do yeah. what we came here to do? Let's do what we came here to do. Um, we... Oh, and I'm also going to um, Geneva, Switzerland. Oh, cool. I don't know what I'll do there. For probably the Geneva Convention. Probably the lake. And then Portugal. I don't know what I'll do there. Um, I'm more exci- I'm thinking I'm most excited for London. London is very cool. Yeah. I could. I could live there probably for a, for a time. Well, I'll let you know shortly Yeah, well, what I could... think. I'm sure I'll want to live there as well. It's cool. When the weather's nice, it's very mm-hmm. cool. But I could definitely spend some time there. Is Lots of fun there? in London. Really? Oh, yeah. How long did you Is live he... there, Izzy? Uh, oh, when you were abroad. Yeah. Three months? Three and a half? Yeah. Like... Right. In COVID. <sighs> yeah. It I'm excited. It's okay. a fun little city. Sorry, you were. Um, I'm leaving tomorrow morning for yeah for Idaho. How long are you gonna be gone? I'm gonna be gone until Sunday, and then I leave again on Wednesday Where to go gone? to Maui. Whoa! I didn't know you were going to Maui. Thirtieth birthday. Oh yeah. Yeah. That'll be so fun. I'm excited. Um, weird. There's no plans. It's kind of nice. I'm really excited to just like sit. Yeah. You know, I've always wanted to go to Hawaii. Right. Right. Well, enjoy Portugal. Thanks. That sounds awesome. And the Geneva Convention sounds great. I've always wondered what they do there. I'll let you know. So that will be such a treat for you. Thank you. Um, here's what we came here to do today. Yeah. We asked everybody to submit us advice questions and am I the asshole questions. And we got a bunch. We had such an overwhelming amount that it's giving me like Catholic guilt. Knowing how many are going to sit in there that we're not going to be able to get to. So... I'm going to take it upon myself to figure out a better way to... to Are you Catholic? My dad is. Okay. So genetically, yes. Yeah. Genetically, I am Catholic. Is that, is Catholicism through the dad? It could be either. Because I know Judaism is like through your mom. Yeah, so is penis size. I thought it was baldness. We've never claimed to be a science podcast. Mm -hmm. Or a religious podcast. But um, we cannot go one episode without talking about Christianity <laughs> or <Yeah>. Judaism. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Speaking of the devil. So we had a bunch lined up. We have a bunch lined up today. And I can, I have a, I have a bunch so screenshotted. Perfect. I couldn't get to them all. Sh- straight up, I couldn't get to them all. Um, and we are not going to have enough time to cover them anyways. So sorry if you wrote in and we don't get to them this time. But we had such a huge demand that's in, exciting. In just in just fourteen hours, that it's several episodes worth. So maybe we figure out a different way to answer some questions down the line. I'm but down. Um, here we go. I'm just going to open up with 
Sorry, let me find one a good one to start off. Okay. On. Some. <laughs> that seems like a good one. Funny. Okay, do it. Okay, we'll start out with a funny one. Um, this is this is from Tony. I know a lot of people ask to be anonymous. This this person did not. <clears throat> Hi, besties. I was blowtorched in the face by a club bouncer who thought the blowtorch was an infrared thermometer shortly after COVID, and I didn't. S- so imagine what? being like this, like, and you, being like, ah, oh, like. There's no way. Oh, well, I'll continue. Um, and I didn't sue the bar because I just felt like it would be rude. Mm. What was the damage? It was in East the Nashville. Face. And it was a small business. And I'm not going to say the owner's name. Uh, Susan really, like, really did not mean to give me a third degree burn on my face. In fact, was like so close to my eye. She was so sorry, literally started panicking and crying and saying, you should sue me if you want to. And I was like, (laughs) okay, right now, babe, it's time for the first aid kit. And she was so prompt. (laughs) And she was so prompt with it. She even offered to pay for the stuff I got from the drugstore that night for my burns. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Which got extremely ugly in all caps. But it never felt right to completely ruin this small, cute-ass East Nashville business. And when I I was ultimately unharmed, my skin and hair grew back. Oh, my hair. I guess I'm wondering if you think I'm ridiculous for not suing the fuck out of Susan and her establishment. Some tall, dark, and handsome rushed over to me from the street and helped me up when I stopped, dropped, and rolled, though. And I was really starstruck. Literally a hero, and so was my BFF. Magdalene who just watched all this happen and remained calm through it all she my rock so, so this is the opposite of am I the asshole this is am I t- do you think I'm a- too nice yeah Ye- do you think uh, that's a tough one that's a tough one because that's Catholic guilt mm-hmm. I know for a fact we would both do the same thing I would not we would not no. ever make contact with anyone there again also if the person was mean I'd be like ah I like I still don't want to Oh, see, so yeah, that's where I might differ. If the person was mean, I would, I would go after maybe, them with yeah. everything I maybe, have. Maybe, yeah, maybe. So, I, I think that th- this is the right move, and I think that you have a really good head on your shoulders. What is your name? Tony. Tony. Because I feel the same way. Yeah, I'd be like, yeah, it's, it's funny. It's a funny story, kind yeah. of. I would not have done anything either, unless that they were mean, which doesn't sound like they were. I want to know. If I would probably be apologizing to them if if she felt so bad. I would also feel so bad. No, 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 no. Well, no, Tony, you're good. You're good. You're good. Tony stopped, dropped, and rolled. Yeah, so wanna... I wouldn't. Would you remember to stop, drop, and roll in a moment like that? No, I wouldn't. I would. I, would, I was thinking this. I would be. I'd be hitting myself I'd in the head, smacking my head, yeah. myself over the head. Me too. Um, I I'd also bury my head in the person next to me and light them on fire. I also loved that Tony had remembered that it's some tall, dark, and handsome had run up to them. Yeah, and that would have made it worthwhile. Well, their face was melting off yeah. onto the concrete. Yeah. That is a f- fantastic story, and I don't think that... Yeah, I think you did everything right. I don't think, and let me let me use your words. Do you think... I guess I'm wondering if you, if you think I'm ridiculous. So am I ridiculous? No, I think you're normal. Like, I think that's what... I think most people would probably do that. No? No, I feel like most, people, most people would sue. You think most people would sue? I think that... I, I feel like recently we've gotten very sue happy, very trigger happy with the lawsuits. I don't, I'm thinking of my friends and I don't think any of them would sue. There are many people like setting new precedents for lawsuits right now. Okay, but when you think of somebody who's like starting lawsuits all the time, you think of like that old woman you hit and claim she has whiplash even when she doesn't. Gwyneth Paltrow and the, the guy that ran into yeah, her while skating. Yeah, you think of that guy. Like, oh, I'm going to cash out in this situation. Mm-hmm. Which Tony could do. Yeah, paper, you have like, every right yeah. to. It's just like, do you... Do you want to go through all that? I think we can just come to the conclusion that Tony's just like a good person. Uh-huh. Can you imagine picking up a blowtorch and thinking it's a thermal? Yes, that's the thing, Ryan. I fear that uh, I, I could see myself I, they, with Susan. They too. are, they are, and they are. Look, they look the same. <laughs> they look. The, I mean, like if it's dark out and you're a bouncer and you're grab, you're reaching behind you while you're checking someone's ID and you got the blowtorch. I mean, I, at least you're not in L.A. Because if someone's, myself. if you hit someone's lip fillers with one of those, like that would be a bloodbath. Oh my God! Yeah, they are. That's identical. an in, that's an infrared thermometer. Oh, sorry, I thought that was the I thought that was the I thought that was the blowtorch. <laughs> no, they, I mean they look they look really and mm. and that's a blow. So I could see, I could see, I could see it happen. I could see. 
I can't, but I also could see myself doing it. If that makes sense. I could see making have ma- making it a little tough the distinction what when it's dark out. I can't really, but I guess I just if I put myself in the per- Why do you in, have a blowtorch out there? In the blow torchers. <laughs> Maybe Why do you have a blowtorch? Probably to trigger like the heating lamps. Like the heating lamps or I know people that use those to sp- not really smoke, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I, I would have also not sued. Moral of the story. Anyways, yeah, I, I agree. I think you're right there. Um, Wow, I just got a crazy throwback on my, on my TikTok that I can't say on the podcast. Okay. <sighs> okay. A lot of these are in several parts, so I just have to... I just have to spread them out, all right? Yeah, no worries. Okay. Um, hang on. There's one that was sent in. And this one is interesting because this one brings up a lot of points. Okay. Am I the asshole for getting pissed about our buddy inviting us to play a round of golf with his dad than getting pissed when we had to pay $120 each? So this this person... Here's a story. Night of, we're celebrating my buddy's birthday and he invites a group of us to go play golf with his dad and brags about how it's going to be free and free getting drinks the whole time. We wake up for the tea time. We get there. um, Standing behind my buddy and his dad in line and his dad specifies that he's only paying for himself and my friend. And these people are in college. And they're already there. And they have the tea time booked and everything. Um, The dad buys himself a pair of $200 golf shoes in front of us and then we all paid for ourselves. I know that I should not feel entitled to have my friend's pa- parents pay for us, but it was odd to be invited on such an expensive outing as a college student and expected to pay for ourselves. After we finished, my buddy's dad took us out for lunch somewhere. We obliged. He put his card down on the table, and when the waitress came, he clarified that he was only paying for himself and his son. I know it's rude to be to expect things being paid for, but it was a really expensive day and I just made things really awkward. I'm not holding anything against, anything against my friend, but am I the asshole for thinking his dad is an asshole? No. No. Did you have that? In, first of all... They were bragging that it was free the night... I think that the son was probably like hyping the, the of the, the dad that who has the membership. Like You can't just show up to a lot of golf courses that require you to be a member to get a tee time. Mm-hmm. So maybe that was the end to get the tee time. But I guess... He understood it as like, oh, his dad's taking his golfing. He said that all the drinks were going to be free at least. He didn't mention if he paid for the drinks or not, whatever. But that is like not an absurd thing to think that you're a college student. You're you're probably not working full time. Mm -hmm. Even if you are working full time, spending a hundred whatever dollars on golf as a college student is not like feasible. Yeah. I would have been, I would have been surprised if... I was asked to pay in that moment. I've been in situations where I, like that where I was just like, oh, wow, okay. Yeah. Like, I'm not doing anything with this person ever again. Like, in college especially, where I was like, we had no money. And, like, I had one thing happen with one of my college roommates where the mom got up and walked to the waiter and was like, I'm just paying for these two so that it wouldn't be awkward. And he came over, even though, even though she took us to lunch. Yeah. And I felt the same way. And we all felt the same way. Yeah. I would hate to be the parent that was, like, being talked about like that, too. Yeah, know. it's just uncomfortable, especially the older you get. Like, it becomes less clear, like, when you go out with a friend's parents. Like, yeah. should you even say something? Like, I get nervous. Like, if I'm going with a friend and their parent, I always feel uncomfortable being like, I'll Venmo you or, like, can I split it with you? Like, yeah. it's just like everything gets more uncomfortable the older you get, I think. But I think in college, I would I would probably think that a parent would pay for me. For Not that- in an entitled way, but I'll just, like... In and a way that that's usually how it happens. Yeah. I'm trying to think of like a parallel. Obviously, like go- girls can golf. But yeah. like, I'm trying to think of a parallel where like if a girl's mom was in town college weekend and invited a group of her friends or two or three of her friends to go do what? Like an activity. Done, like in a big yeah. Salon. Yeah. Or like get nails done or something. Like the mom was like taking them to get their nails done. How about laser tag? <laughs> or laser to go play softball catch uh-huh. to go do some pop flies yeah. with that person's mom. Yeah. I don't know. I can't think of anything. I know it's what do, hard. What do girls do? Like whatever you do. You're not going to play golf. I just like. Yeah, know I you. am. Okay, so. <laughs> okay. Going to the range. Mini golf. Mini golf. <laughs> Would you expect the mom to pay for the mini golf course? In college? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. I I would. I know. Now I would be like, no, 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 please. I right. Don't pay for my food. I can I can pay. But I'm also not. Yeah. I'm not gonna fight right. you over this bill. Right. Take it. I think now. You, yeah. You've had 68 years to make enough money. Yeah. Uh-huh. Take the bill. Uh huh. It'd be yeah. dumb for me. I'm just getting started out here. I know. It's just always such an uncomfortable thing. Going You're cashing out, out your parent. 401k and I don't even know how to access mine. Mm-hmm. I think you cover this burger. Yeah. I mean, I... It's, Fuck this dude and his dad. I'm mad at him. That's annoying. And that's uncomfortable. I know. It's hard to talk about it without seeming entitled. But I also uh, would have would be confused. Okay. I'm, I'm feeling entitled because they got invited to play golf with this person's dad. If it yeah. was like... Something, I don't know, something, I think the golf of it all also makes it, like, weird. I can't think, for some reason, for the life of me, I can't think of any other activities. Well, it also is, like, kind of weird. God, I gotta tread lightly a little bit. But, like, when the parent is clearly in a position where they yeah. ha- or have a membership at a country club and, like, have the means, and it's just, like, even though, you know, you're not entitled to it. Still, yeah, it's just I mean, like weird. It's, you do need context for these sort of things. Did you have any friends in college? This is insane. This is like an insane person situation. But I had friends in college who I knew for a fact had parents' credit cards. And then they would and ask then you they to would, Venmo them and you knew they were making money. They were, It was going to their so personal fun. Venmos. Yeah. I knew that they weren't paying for it. And then they would... That was their livelihood because yes. they'd they'd offer to put their card down for a dinner or whatever and say it's like i don't even know how much it would be maybe a hundred dollars or whatever they put their card down they make 80 but if there's yep. five people yeah 24 60 80, yeah they make 80 bucks yes. on that dinner yes there's always going to be one or one or two of those and it's so it's uh, and so th- that th- i had i had that's bad people that did that where i was like okay i don't even want you to offer to pay for anything i don't want mm-hmm. out of spite i don't want you to make any money off of me yeah for no reason yeah that that's bad behavior. It's bad behavior. Uh-huh. Consciousless behavior, I think. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go to another one. All right. My ex situationship moved to New York City, and I happen to be going there next month. Should I hit him up, or should I close that door? Close it. By the way, he's like ten years older than me. Okay, keep lock it. I don't know. I kind of like that. I wish I had more context of how long you were going to New York City, because if you're going there for the weekend and. You want to have like a New York fling? That's fun. Well, I guess, yeah. I guess we literally have zero context. Why did it end? We don't know. What was the nature of the relationship? There was an emoji that was blushing and like this. Oh, so maybe... I don't know. Like, it depends also how you feel about it. There's something fun about a a city fling. Sure. Yeah, I think of like if it ended fine and like there's no sort of like bad blood or toxicity, why not? It was a situationship. Okay, but some situationships are really toxic. Yeah. So if it was not that, then why not? Situationships confuse me because like, what, are you stuck at the bottom of a well? Why do, what do you mean you have to date each other? What are you talking about? Situationship is like we're dating, we're like seeing each other because it's Right, like, I know. It'd be, it'd be weird or rude or like uncomfortable not to. I'm like. Or I think it's just like either party is like not ready to define it for whatever reason. I think that's just love without labels. I don't think it has to be love. I don't think it has to be. I think when I think of situationship, I think of mostly like a girl who like wants more and a guy who doesn't. Oh, well, then you're going to like this next story. Okay. So what do we think for uh for this? I, we don't have enough information, unfortunately. Okay. This one is long as crap. Okay, do so it. I'm going to just try to read through because there's a lot of context. Mm-hmm. This is Good. from this, more context the better. This is from a man. So this one's gonna take a second. Hey Brooke and Connor, long time listener, first time DMer. I'm pretty sure I'm the asshole here. Self awareness. But okay. just as just gonna have you guys weigh in as I'm as well. I'm a high I'm a Jesus. I'm a senior in college and I started dating a girl about a month ago. I made it very clear that I didn't want to get into anything serious and we continued to see each other. I took her on dates and nice dinners and we hung out at the bars and at parties. We also went to on a trip to Vegas with my fraternity. We were having an amazing time and we're getting along really well. One night after bar, she came back to my place and asked me if I wanted to be exclusive with her while we still have time, have the time left until we graduate. I panicked and said yes, and I probably shouldn't have because I told myself I'd stay single for the rest of the year. Continued to hang out, went to a festival together, and 
the music festival is a big deal and I had a bunch of friends coming into town. I was also super stoked for the festival even before I knew she was coming because all my friends were going to be here. Then at last minute she got a ticket and I was excited to introduce her to all my friends at the festival. Um, this is when it gets a little gnarly. I, I have a feeling I'm going to get angry. <laughs> at the festival she got there a bit later than me and by that time, it, this is this is a lot. I don't even know. If I, I'm just going to say it. And by that time, I had already taken a good amount of Molly and mushrooms and other stuff. Okay. <laughs> like, what What other stuff? <laughs> by uh, the time she got there, I had already been rolling, and I introduced her to all my friends, and we went to go listen to some music. We were dancing with all my friends, and I was starting to, to peek on whatever I was on, and she told me she was cross and needed to step out of the crowd. This was weird because I had only seen her drink like a little bit of beer. <laughs> I'm not judging her or calling her lightweight. It was just weird how quickly she went from sober to buzzed. I I had never seen that before. I took her somewhere away oh, from she everyone. She was crossed. It means like you're high and you're drunk. Oh, I thought it was cross faded, but I guess cross is just yeah. short for that. It's just yeah. very cool. <laughs> just like le- less of a word. I took her somewhere far away from everyone else when she said she had to throw up and stood blocking her (laughs) holding her hair back and telling her it was going to be okay when she was bent over (laughs) however i never saw her throw up and and i never saw her throw up and when she was trying to pull trig and there was nothing coming out she was really getting in there (laughs) (laughs) i had seen this is so college because like i love i love the descriptions he's like i had and guess what? I had seen her pull trick <laughs> with ease in Vegas the weekend prior. He's like, I've seen her pull trick. Oh, she so she's really accusing trick. her of being a liar at this well, time. You'll, yeah, okay. Yeah. Her friends came over and kept telling me that it's okay and she'd be fine in 20 minutes. Then I asked her if she was good to wait it out at the festival or if she wanted to, or she wanted to get a lift home. She told me she wanted to go home, so I told her friends that I would get her home safe, and they thanked me. While this was happening, one of her friends whispered in my ear, we trust you and she loves you. Oh. Obviously, this was a bit... Oh, obviously this was a bit of a surprise for me because I had only known her for a couple weeks. We took a lift home and I brought her to the bathroom to keep trying to throw up. (laughs) She continued to dry heave and then after doing that for about two minutes, she popped right up like the most sober person I've ever met, tucked her hair behind her ears and told me she was fine and that she wants to go back to the festival. This whole situation creeped me out a lot because in my head she was trying to see if I would take her back to her apartment and care for her to see if I was trustworthy, like a test. I know this sounds crazy, but if you saw the whole situation now, she was acting before and after, you would think the same. No, that's not what happened. It's so clear to me what happened. Do you know? When she was saying she was fine and wanted to go back to the concert, I was in shock. I thought it was weird. We kept going out after that. I had kind of thought something was fishy and my guard was up a bit. I invited her over to my house after the bars one night. And when we got there, my friends asked me if I wanted to post game. I asked her if she would want to go and she didn't want to. So I told her that I only have a couple weekends left in college and I wanted to go. She was upset about that. So I decided to finally just be like, I don't think that this is a good time for us. She stormed out and we officially ended things in the next day. And she said it'd be best if we completely cut it off. And didn't see each other romantically for the rest of the year. She also ripped me a pretty bad one over text and talked a lot of shit about me to a bunch of people who also know. Am I the asshole? Oh, yeah. I think so. I think what had happened at the festival was she got too high. Because I do that all the time. Panic attack. Or it's like I'll get really high, not realize, like have a few sips of alcohol, like not drink and then freak out shove my whole fist down my throat to try to puke because I'm having a panic attack and I think like I've been like drinking or whatever but it's just the weed and nothing comes out because you're not drunk you're just having a high panic attack well like he's only telling us that he feels this way it's not like it's not like he didn't take her home or he no I know but he's like freaked out that maybe she was like making that whole story up so that she was testing him or whatever I don't think think he's I don't think he's an asshole though I think he's just like am I I think a better question here would be like am I overthinking this i think you're for sure overthinking that first part like i think she just was having a panic attack because she was high and then i think he got in his head about that and then started freaking about about that on top of whatever else happened and then kind of just like impulsively ended it on top of the fact that he didn't really want to be exclusive with her to begin with i think that that is we could have stopped there where it was like I kind of, uh, like I jumped into a relationship yeah. and I probably shouldn't have. I think you could probably stop there. So I see, I think all of her actions make a justified. lot of sense to me and are justified. I think that you panic towards the end yeah. and it just like is what it is. And like you have to accept that like she's going to be pissed and talk shit about you. Like I don't think you did like the most egregious thing yeah. 
But like, I think that you got a little sloppy at the end. Panicky. He'd seen her pull trig with ease. And it with ease. <laughs> Trust me, I've pulled trig with ease thousands of times and then get too high and then can't. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. it's like, it happens all the time. Let's go back to the festival. Yeah, I think, uh, I don't know. That wasn't meant to be. I don't think your heart was in it in the beginning. So 100%. I could have avoided probably all of it. Right. All right. Here we that go. A fun one. That was like a lot. Hello, Brooke and Connor. I'm in dire need Hi. of some advice. I, male 19, am gay, prefers wiener. <laughs> Due to this inconvenience, I find myself in many a predicaments. Most recently, I've begun to develop a crush, actively obsessing slash falling in love on a coworker. As I'm writing this, I'm laying on my stomach, flailing my legs back and forth over my back. Oh. <laughs> he is actually stupid like really dumb <laughs> but how cute is that is. anyways work has become very difficult since he suddenly became cute he could not be any straighter but in my defense he listened to taylor swift before right that's where it gets dicey <laughs> at work we are often asked to pick a partner and when we are dispatched when we are dispatched and there have been countless times he's picked me to go with him so he's obsessed with me what I'm going to ask you guys is how do I go about continuing to work with him without making things unbearably uncomfortable whilst also finding out if he might like me back? Love you guys. Ugh, that's just so hard if he's like not out. You know? I, I'll just say from like a work crush perspective, it makes, there's like the, this distracting, this is like the weirdest thing ever to say that my old boss told me this, but my old boss told me, you should really try to find a work crush because it makes coming to work 100%. so much more fun. It makes waking up every day worth it. I would say I'd say keep at it. I'd I'd say yeah, like just have it be a crush. You certainly certainly don't want to get your feelings hurt and then have to go to work. You know, so yeah, I would just leave a little bit up to the imagination. Yes, totally. Definitely don't make a move or something when you're once you're dispatched. You know what I learned recently? Dispatched. I wonder if they work in like the medical field. Definitely don't make a move while you're while you're, or maybe you're a firefighter. I don't. I can't think of anyone. You else can just have a crush and leave it at that. Yeah. Like sometimes, like that's hard for me to come to terms with. Like usually, I want to like, you know, make it like so that. I'm the only person in their lives that they'll ever feel comfortable yeah. like, coming to. Sure. And, you know, but sometimes a crush can just be like a crush and it doesn't have to be like the most intense, like kill yourself over it experience. Yeah. Don't kill yourself over yeah. this. Yeah. Just like have a crush. If you can keep it at that, that would be great. I'd love so to do fun. it. It sounds day. like, it sounds like yeah. it's like in a good sp space right now. Yeah. I don't know. That's tough though. Totally. You also don't want to date someone you work with. Cause just like one of our next stories coming mm -hmm. out, you, it only ends one of two ways. And once really marriage bad. or divorce or death, death or divorce. Okay, maybe there's a couple options. <laughs> uh, like y even if this this worked out and you date or whatever, you either break up or get married. Yeah, isn't that scary with everyone? Yeah, and if you break up, like you're gonna go back to work, or you die, or you die. Those are the three options. But we already advised against him dying. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Mary. I yeah, I'd say keep and at then it. And die. Um, keep at it. Yeah, I think I, I think don't advance it. I think especially in this specific situation, don't 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 advance it because you just don't. Yeah, know. try to keep it at the exact level it is now. Yeah, that's so almost. I it's would say tough. that's impossible. Yeah, actually, it's now tough. That mention it. It's tough. Yeah. Um. Hope that helps. Try to balance it by finding new X. Yeah. Oh yeah. Or or get rid of the crush completely. How? Um. Yeah, X is a good one. Mm -hmm. Like you have to just ache yourself out of it. Yeah. 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 I don't know. That's that's the best I can I, I can offer. I don't know if it was you that said this the other day or what, but do you do married couples get the ick? Uh, I I asked that about if parents get the ick towards their kids. Oh no, I don't mean that. I mean like let's say we're married. Like, am I still getting? Am I getting the ick from you? Like, or is that just yes? Or. Or it does marriage mean like you just like married people you, hate each other, Brooke? No, I think hatred is different than the ick. No, but like it's it. I, I think I'm speaking. I'm not married. I'm not whatever. But I'm speaking from like it, it, it's like it's like a permanent roommate, and then you have to you have sex with them as well, right? So like think about a roommate. Like everything starts to bug you eventually about them, and then like I think that's different than an ick. No, an ick. Oh yeah, okay. An ick would be like. Ew, right, and it could be like, 
like watching them go down the slide and you're just like, ew. Yeah, you know? like, I, I like want, I think honestly, marrying someone means like you just ass, you resign. Like, oh, Ryan, do you get the? I ick? don't personally ever get the ick from my wife. Yeah, that's good. the only answer that is appropriate. Let's, let's clip that. Yeah, let's clip that and get that to it. Um, I honestly think that marrying someone means like. No, 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 no. That's setting a really unrealistic standard. I, don't I think know. I think icks will come and go, and then they become beige flags. Oh my god, the ick to beige flag pipeline. Yeah. I think like there's a thing that you hate and then it's like, ugh, like you doofus. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I'm guessing. Yeah. I don't know. That's the thing. I was asking you. Fuck if I know, Brock. <laughs> My pussy talk spinge. Yeah. Um, Okay. Am I the asshole for ghosting my longtime guy friend who recently asked me on a date, took me on a said on said date. We had a great time, texted me every day for two months, and then told me he w- told me he wasn't and has never been interested in a relationship with anyone, let alone me. <laughs> what? <laughs> so she's asking if I would she's think the, he's asshole. the asshole. I would say, wow. <laughs> what? I would say, wow. Um, yeah. I would. That's when I would get like nasty, and I would respond to be like, "Whatever made you think I would be interested in you for one second? <laughs> like, I would get <laughs> really the two mean. dates that we had a great time really, on. I would get really mean. Um, no, I I think that that is a ridiculous yeah, question to insane. ask if you're the asshole, and I actually would not have included this one because it's so ridiculous. If have you, you had you know, I didn't read the last sentence. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> yeah. But no, you're you're fine. You are a okay. Yeah. Uh, that is your name. Okay. Um. <clears throat> All right, anonymous. Am I the asshole for not wanting to be around a coworker who smells? No, <laughs> I think that's answer, normal. I, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give more context, but okay. no. <laughs> yeah, I, 23 years old, male, work with a coworker who's 50 years old, ma- female, that smells like sweat and bo every day. That's hard. It's gotten to the point where her being in the break room, which is a small, mind you, s- which is small, mind you, stinks the whole room and turns my stomach. No, you're absolutely justified. Now, when it starts to become an issue where her body, her choice, certainly. But when you start, it starts to affect others in a way where that's almost a biohazard. If you're, if you're, if you're, if you're getting sick, that's bioterrorism. If you smell, can you get sick from like the smell? Brooke, of I not have like been pukey, in... but like, can you actually get like a no a virus? <laughs> oh, from a smell, from a scent? Yeah, or like I don't bacterial know. infection. Because I and I know this is like an exception because I was probably gonna throw up anyways. But <laughs> <laughs> I was hungover in an Uber and he smelled like roadkill, <laughs> and I was like, oh, I'm gonna yak like this is, and I had to get out of the car. Yeah, and that impeded, and then I got out and I was like, oh, I'm I'm fine. I threw up later, but <laughs> I was like, that was actually like an, that was, that was an impediment on my day. Mm-hmm. Like I was not about to, I was not able to go about my business because of the smell. No, I agree. I, sometimes I feel bad for people that smell. And then sometimes I'm like, if like, it depends if they can help it or not. But like, if you're making the choice to not put deodorant on or not take a shower. Think about the context of the break gotta, room. You it's have to start thinking about other room. people. Yeah. Like it, it stops becoming people are eating like in an here. option. This is their this is where they go to rest. Yeah. To have a break. Mm-hmm. They're eating in there. You can't mix a smell and odor with food. You mm-hmm. can't. Going there to rest and sit down and eat, this is not conducive to a work environment yeah. and efficient work. I would mm-hmm. not be hitting the round running after that ghastly odor entered my nose Mm -hmm. and i'm not breathing through my mouth because then it goes in through my mouth yeah and even though i can't taste it i know it's there yeah on top of my yeah no i'm hearing you so i am giving you advice right now you need to go to to an upper and say (laughs) i know who i know who this stinky bitch is and we need to we need to take her out (laughs) no we have to you have to go to someone and say and if you have any allies with you on the floor to, to get a class action against her and go and write an anonymous letter or talk to an, a, a higher up. That's one of my favorite quotes from The Office, actually, now that you mention it, is when Phyllis keeps farting and Michael's like sitting out on the floor for one day and Michael's like, what is that smell? And someone's like, oh, it's Phyllis. Like she sent out an email, like she's on new meds. And, and Michael goes, no, that's geological. 
one of my favorite that's one of my favorite quotes <laughs> yeah that's a good yeah. one yeah <laughs> it's a little stuff like that people don't yeah. know just about the office yeah. that's the reason yeah like no that's office. geological <laughs> brook and con i love you first off thank you <laughs> i'm about to burp sorry <clears throat> second off should you reconvene with a friend who ended horribly a few years ago or should you just put it in the past more context please <laughs> that's it and i respect the the succinctness of this text However, I agree. I, can't I need answer a little that. bit more. Yeah. Is, the only context we have here is horribly in all caps. Yeah. I, I I truly can't answer that. I don't know whose fault it was. I don't know what happened. I don't know if that you've changed. I don't know if they've changed. I don't I don't know anything, unfortunately. I'll say I'm in a period of my life where I've ha- I have the most beef with it at the m- I've got the most beef right now, currently in my life that I've ever had in my life. Oh my god, I feel the exact opposite. Oh, lo- we're reverse cycle yeah. thinking. That sucks. But I'm all for the beef squashing, especially long term, to go back and be like, this doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. We're wasting so much time. We're harboring so much hate in our heart for no reason. I'm tired, y'all. Yeah. Could be my cirrhosis, but I'm exhausted. I would just, I need to know what happened. Um, yeah, we do need more context with mm-hmm. that. I would say, lay it to rest. I can't think of anything anyone could do that I would be like, I will never, ever speak to you again. Oh, I could. Really? Yeah. I can't think of it, literally anything. Oh. I mean, like, if you killed one of my family members. I need context as to oh. why you killed them. <laughs> For me, <laughs> but, like, if you, like, said something really, really, really mean about me, I, I would I Wow, would never we're talk. on different. I would never talk to you again, probably. We're on different things. Yeah. If you, if I read your text and you had something awful about me, I, and I wouldn't talk to you again. Easy as that. <laughs> Okay, so I don't know. I guess we need more context there. All right. Yeah. Talk about me, just don't let me see it. Am I the, here? Well, this is a good one to end on. We're going to end on this one, all right? Am I the asshole for not commenting or liking a friend's Instagram picture when they specifically asked me to? Like, I would have liked it if I liked it. It makes me not want to. Ha ha ha. I do that. Guilty. Telling people to like your stuff? No. Not liking it? Like, if it? someone sends me something and is like, can you please like this? It, that pisses me off so much that it won't like it. Mm. Like one of your friends? Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's tough. I always wonder, I've never been like the person to like post a picture of someone for their birthday, like happy birthday to the best friend. Like I'm not, mm-hmm. I've never done that. Mm-hmm. And like I have had friends since like ha- having any amount of following on Instagram being like, can you post like something for me? And I'm like, I don't do that. Oh, no, like, that's I'm, a he- way different story. I've never done that. I know, but like asking you to do something on social media. Oh, but no, she's that's just not... asking uh, as like a yeah, general no. person to someone to like and comment on it. No, she's no, asking absolutely... like if somebody sends you one of their posts and says, can you like this? Yeah. And then she doesn't like it. Does that make her a bad person? No, I think it's annoying for someone to be, can you like, to say, can you like this? And I would have liked it if you didn't ask me, but you asking me annoyed me. Oh, you... Oh, you messy Well, you know, I get annoyed by most things. Yeah. So, I don't think... No, I don't think you're a bad person, but I think you're like me, and it's just like you don't need... It It wouldn't kill us to just like it, you know? But But I'm I'm with you. being said... Being asked to like something, now you're inclined to not. Yeah, I just, like, I'm like, does it really matter that much? No, it doesn't. Right, it doesn't. And and I'm teaching you that. There's actually a good Inside Amy Schumer skit on this. It's pretty funny. Very cool. The Inside Amy Schumer skits on YouTube are super good. Let's go, go to the bonus. Yeah. Hey, guys. We're going to bonus. Uh, that was really fun. Yeah. We have, well, I think we'll we'll figure out a way to whatever. Keep doing that. Thank you guys so much for listening to Brooke and Connor Make a Podcast. I'm Brooke. This is Connor. And we'll see you in the bonus or next week. Bye. Ta-ta. This week on Close Friends. Yeah. These girls, Something. there's a reason why their pussy talks in English, Spanish, and French. Do you want to do pussy because it is two S's? I want to do pussy. Okay, we'll do pussy for 500. The machine that sets the pins at the bowling alley is extremely dangerous. If you slide into the pins as a joke, there's a good chance that you'll be crushed to death. I could see you doing that. I just love the idea of so many bowels in a tunnel system. Like don't. there's a whole. Don't try it. Also, when I got arrested, they didn't read me my rights. Mm-hmm. And when I went to my lawyer, I was like, they didn't read me my rights. She was like, that's only in TV. No, I think in 21 Jump Street, they are actually like, they have to let the guy go because they didn't read him his rights. So that must be true if it was in 21 Jump Street. 
Yeah. Sign up on tmgstudios.tv to watch the full bonus episode.